This is our last attempt to do an intro. I wish the world would just leave us alone. <laughs> We've had dogs barking, the phone's gone off, uh, people walking past saying hello. Just been... Yeah. So guys, welcome to the video. <laughs> yes. See how far we get with this kitchen. Yes. You can guarantee something will go wrong because it always does, especially when I'm involved. No comment. Cheers. So I hope you enjoyed the, enjoy the video, guys. If you do, hit that thumbs up. Comments are always welcome as ever. And we will catch you on the next one. Beautiful sunny afternoon. We're sitting here, finished for the day, waiting for our kitchen to be delivered. Yes. Sometime this afternoon. You know what it's like for deliveries in Spain. <clears throat> Just having a look at this almond tree that's up by the house. Um, trying to find... Look at all these. All these almonds. Little baby one there. We are going to be inundated. It just keeps going. Keeps going. So it is a shame when you lose the blossom because it is so pretty. But uh, it's for a good reason. We get a fruit. And also, on the same note, the fig tree on the other side of the garden here is doing really well. So we have shoots happening on the ends. So that's better without the sun in your face. This is leafing. There's a baby figlet. How tiny is that? And there's another baby figlet. We're going to have more figs than we know what to do with. Oh, again. Every year. Every year. But spring has definitely sprung. It's here. Yeah. Summertime. I got my legs out. I got my arms out. No, the kitchen's here. Yeah, it's not built. <laughs> Rubbish these delivery companies. He was supposed to deliver at two o'clock. I got a phone call at nine o'clock this morning. <laughs> We're going to be here at two. It is now quarter past seven, and they've yes. just delivered. Well, that's fine because he did keep in contact. And he did. There was an issue. And it wasn't his fault, it was somebody else's fault. <coughs> so that's fine. But anyway, yes. Ta da! Right, better put these away in the caves. Yes, we'll do that now. Do that now. I'm going to lock the dogs away because. Yes, please. Little Legs insists on running to the caves, and the caves are now a dog free zone. Yes, they are. Dogs are in there, I can hear them trying to break out. Should I just stand here and look decorative and you put them away? You might as well, because you are quite, quite weak. <laughs> you are a lady of the same That's... Oh! Just for that, you can do it yourself. You, mister, are cruising. Yes, I am. I'm cruising from here to there and back again. Uh-huh. Very dark in the caves. Yes. Missed the caves. Haven't been here for ages. No. They're quite cool. Yes, they are, to be fair. It's a hot day out there today. <laughs> it's nice in here. Yes. Okay. Awesome sauce. Yes. Done and done. That's it. Yes. So we've got two worktops at 180. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, the two worktops at 180 worked out less expensive than one solid work, one long worktop at three meters. Exactly. And would have had to cut it anyway. Yes. So. We might as well have just bought two. Exactly. Freya? Freya? How do I know you've been digging a hole? The state of you. Freya? No, don't eat the camera. Well, it would seem Madam hasn't actually been digging a hole in the land. She has found her way into where we store crushed marble sand 
and been having fun in there. So I'll get that covered over. All right, Monday. Lillian's out hunting for dog eggs and clearing them up. I'm going to get this space ready to start again and get all these dots of monocap up that we scrape the last thing to go dry. They'll just scrape off really, really easily. And what we're actually going to do is build um, two of the cabinets, and we'll obviously we'll do them outside, and then place them here for measurements. Um, the problem we're going to have, well, it's not a problem, but uh, something that needs to be addressed, is that waste pipe. I do not intend to cut out a big chunk of cabinet floor just so that can come up. Uh, so what we need to do is get two 45 degree bends and short piece of pipe and then some more pipe to make it so it goes against the wall and then elbows coming back out again. Unfortunately, we can't get the plumbing parts now until Wednesday because it's Spanish Father's Day tomorrow, um, which is a national holiday, and everywhere around us, apart from driving all the way to Elche or to Caveliente, which is 45 minutes for either one, and then driving all the way back, um, it's a bridge day today. So everywhere is a bridge day, apart from maybe the big box stores. And it's a waste of fuel and a waste of time going all the way there when at the end of the day, I'm building the cabinets so we can line them up and then we'll be removing them again so we can plaster the wall. But we need to see if our spacing is correct. And this side is important, this side less so, even though it is still important. That's what I like to see. Man on his hands and knees doing my cleaning for me. Makes a change. Yeah, well, someone's got to do it right. I'll get this bit of sweat before I can't put the brush. Yeah. Where you left it? As yeah. usual, you can't remember where you left it. Yeah, well, I've so many other complicated things in my life. Like? Remembering where I put things. <laughs> then you can never ever remember where you put things. You've spent half your life shouting blue things as to where something's gone. Yeah, because things move on their own. They don't. I reckon it's Julian. Well, that is a possibility. Yes. <laughs> it is if you listen to the medical police, we'll be found him. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, then we can explain actually about Julian because um, we often refer to Julian's room. So, in one of the bedrooms in the cave, in a cupboard, was an urn. And it said Julian and the rest of his name, birth date, death date. And when you picked up the said urn and shook it, it sounded like he was still in there. So obviously I couldn't just put him in the bin. I contacted the local police who came to have a check to see whether he was still in there or not. Um, and they gave it a shake as well and agreed, yes, he probably was still in there. And they were gonna contact the family because the family aren't allowed to just dump an urn like that, not with complete with contents. And I spoke to, they spoke to the priest locally here who said, don't know if he was Catholic or not, I can't deal with him. So the police said, right, well, we'll get in contact with the family who are up in Barcelona. Meanwhile, do you mind looking after Julian? Because we don't want to put him down in the town hall in one of the cupboards there in case he decides to haunt us. So long story short, we kept Julian. Julian is still here, and the room that we use as a storage room, which could also be a bedroom and a push, um, is referred to as Julian's room. He did own part of this property, and he's still with us, in spirit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, it's, some people are bothered by things like that, and I can completely understand why. Um, we're not, and if he's still here, 
because it hasn't been opened, so we don't really know out of respect. Um, if he is still here, then he's still here. Yeah. At least he, he was here, and he continues to be. Yes. But uh, yeah, it was a bit. It was a bit strange. Um, the family have been contacted, and they say he's not in there. Exactly. Um, and the police are quite happy with that, and so is everybody. And I'm quite happy to not open the jar to find out. Yes. So I'm going to go ten centimeters, uh -huh. and the chances are we're going to end up having to cut it shorter anyway. But I'd rather it be about there. And then if we do need to go shorter, we can go shorter, but there's still plenty of room to move it back. Yeah. And then once we've got the cabin built, we're then going to have to do a mark for these as well because of the backing. Yeah. Something to roll top of that. Take the top off that one and put it on there. I'll fix it. <sighs> Is your face because you can't see or because the smell? Both. Not actually too bad. There. Right. Sorry, we need to get some of this. Mm -hmm. And then the drum machines come back, keep this pipe. In case you need a piece that long, or so I can go to the shop again. So you can go to the shop. Now you answer. Well, that's the box open, and it would seem I have a little visitor. Yes, we have. <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't try and take this. Right, ah, okay, I can feel that already. That's the door. That needs to go somewhere. I'll go and put it in the safe. case. Yes, please. <clears throat> and then there's all the rest of the bits. Yes, indeed. So. Something else you're going to be doing, just like you did for our kitchen, is all the raw edges are going to be sealed with wood glue and or silicon sealant, depending as to where they're going in relation to the room, to make sure we don't, we minimise any damp problems, water problems, spillages. Yeah, yeah. Where I did it up the top is on here, on this raw edge and the other raw edge. I just put wood glue on and made sure there's wood glue going down into the dowels and the same on the other one. But on the backs, oh, don't need to. All these are sealed all around. Okay, we were thinking that if this was the back edge, it was going to be raw against this wall and you were going to silicon sealant it, but these are sealed. Brilliant. Yes, yes. Well, what I will do especially for this one because it's a sink, mm -hmm. is once it's all built and when we go to put it into place finally, then I run a bead of silicone around the joints, water going yeah. down. Um, so as we did with the big fish tank we got there when we bought that yeah. and it arrived, we ran silicone all around so there was no chance for any water and I did the same at the top for, for us. But the other cupboards it didn't matter because um, no water. Yeah. So, right. <laughs> I guess somebody outside wants something that's outside the gate. Yes. Right, finally, I'm ready. Yeah. Fit the dowels in the glue. That's the unit flat against the wall there. Oh, look at the gap at the back. <laughs> <laughs> so if you push this now so it's so flat. that's where it needs to be. Yes. We'll see it won't go all the way back just yet. Because we haven't cut out the back. 
Yes. So where these pipes are, which just look like plastic bags at the moment, we've got to cut on this side so they pop through. Yes. But. That gives you an idea of how much gap we've got on this side. Down there. And this is why we want to actually physically do it, build it, cut that hole out of the back, put it in place, and then draw a chalk line on this wall to show exactly where we need to tile. Yes. Yeah, because obviously we have to tile here as well. Yeah. And cut the worktop to match this. That's going to be the interesting bit. But we have, we have a plan. We do. We already have a plan. Next box open. Yes. This is the 40 centimetre one, which yes. is going there. Yeah. And this one has a drawer and a door. Now we've got another 40 centimetre that will be going the other side, but it's exactly the same. However, we won't be using the drawer. Correct. So this one will have the drawer and the next one won't. Yeah. Because the next one will hold the gas bottle. And unfortunately the gas bottle is too tall to have the drawer. So all right, I'll get this one built and we'll come back. When it's over there. When it's over there. You've done well. Yeah. You did, you did that in the amount of time it took me to make some sandwiches. Ooh, sandwiches. Yes. Uh, yeah. It also shows how far out this floor is a bit. But maybe not. Because that side is higher than this side. Yeah. And that side is lower than this side. So to make them level, obviously. Anyway, I'm sure now, actually, that's where the cabinet needs to go. Yes. And that's the angle it needs to follow. So this isn't even as far back as it needs to go yet. <laughs> but yep. it's this one we take the measurement from now. Did you come to join the head scratching? <sighs> you might be able to work it out better than we can. Maybe so. Right, so we're doing the maths, doing the workings out. Uh, this is really my built-to cabinet. The vent pipe there isn't in the centre of the room. We knew that wasn't in the centre of the room. But the way the walls are, we're having to shift things about. And the problem is, this gap from this line here. Because that line there is in the centre, so it's more or less the centre there. Uh, we are four centimetres short of room there. At that point there, we need eight, 80 centimetres or 31 and a half inches. Which is there. Yeah. There's people probably out there on YouTube land screaming at us going, no, no, or yes, yes, or this, this. And believe it or not, I used to be a kitchen designer back in a previous life. But these angles of these walls are just doing our heads in. So, Chris has built these two. We're gonna build the rest of them. We get all the units built. There is somewhere to store them in the caves, so it's not a problem. And then we can actually line everything up and make sure 100% we know what we're doing. Right, base cabinets are built. We did not want to go this far, but we've had to for our own heads. So we know this one needs some work done on the back to make a hole for the utility bits. We don't think that this one can have its door on because if it opens, it'll only open that far, and it's only 30 centimetres to start with. And it goes this way, again, it's only going to go that far. So, we're going to have to put shelves in it. Yeah, leave it open. Just be open with mm -hmm. two shelves. We've already, it came with one, we just need another shelf. Um, that just needs cutting down because we use all the ones from here. Yes. So it needs 10 centimetres taking off it. Yeah and then cut it straight down, and that'll just have two shelves. Yeah. And that'll work. So nice. Fridge will fit in that space there. That cabinet is going there for the gas bottle, and that's got came with a door and a drawer, 
but we're not fitting the drawer fitting, Chris will connect the door to the drawer front. So when you open the door, the drawer front comes with it, like yeah. it's done up in our kitchen. Yeah, Quite unfortunately, you can't buy a replacement door that's just that. Yes. It's annoying. That unit there is going to be a door and a drawer, and will be under the drainer. And that last one will have the bowl of the sink in it. Yes. So we now know this is the space that we're working with for tiling and monocapping. Yes. It's a really good job, well done. Yeah. It all went a bit pear shaped. Pear shaped. As it always does, with well, does for us. Yeah. Back at it. Yes, indeed. Couldn't do anything yesterday. It turned out it was a national holiday. We could have done stuff, but out of courtesy, we don't. It was a national holiday. Um, Father's Day here in Spain and a religious day so we didn't make any noise and the next thing we had to do was either make noise noise <laughs> dial adhesive or, or monocap so we didn't yeah so we had a nice day off we did I popped to see Andy from Finger Life didn't I you did uh, he cut a shelf down for me which is really nice exactly and uh, a couple of bits of work for the plumbing he did as well. He, he actually had in stock and he said, oh, I'm not using them, you can have them. He's oh, very generous. Thank you very much. Yeah, generously given them to us, so I only have to go out and buy one, which is awesome. Yes. So, right. we'll get on with this monocapping. There's no point in going to the builders' merchant just yet. No. Because we may need one more bag of monocap, so we don't want to do two trips. Yes. Right, let's get on with this. So, by the end of the day, all this wall, where it needs monocap and not tiles, will be done. And that's it. <laughs> it will be. <laughs> it's got to be. We've got to get on. I know. Well, we'll just have to pop out to the vets. Yeah, not an emergency. No, but a precaution. Yes, so the boys have been cleaning Freya's ears. They won't leave them alone. And she's been itching at them. And she's been itching at them a little bit. So I thought, let's get them checked out in case there's a problem before it turns into a huge problem. And the vet said one of the ears is slightly pink, so better safe than sorry. Yep, good job, good call. Should be given some antibiotics to um, clear it up and to be checked again in 10 days. Yes. We also mentioned her happy tail syndrome, her bleeding tail, and she's had the little white bits of fur at the end shaved off so that the vet could see. She says it looks fine, it's not bad in any way it hasn't gone septic or anything but again the antibiotics for her ears are going to do her whole body yeah. and just keep an eye on it that's it she gave it an antiseptic wipe yes if it continues like that then we're to bandage it <laughs> yes and we're going to bandage that and who's not going to tear it off you won't were you loki <laughs> you weren't either were you Dover? not half they were not much <laughs> anyway she's happy yep she was very well behaved the vets and we weighed her about four days ago here at home. She's put on more weight since then. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, she might not have done. It's the it vet scales, be. which are there, vet scales, which we've, we've gone by previously as opposed yeah. to our house scales. She weighs 25 kilos. She does. So we just sat out here to have a, a quick, quick drink. Yes. And it's clouded over. And, and the, the wind's getting old. Yeah, and the table's really dusty. And if we do that, it's red dust. We've got the red dust, it might show up better on the whole of your hand, actually. Yes, you may not see it too well. I can see it with the eyes, yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. Collect it off. There you go. It's red dust. Oh, no. You're not supposed to be getting this far off, apparently. No, well. Oh, well. That's the proof. Right, that's all done. And down there as well, you can see the gap over there for the tiling. <sighs> Absolutely brilliant. Really, really happy. About to start the tiling. The tiling is going to go behind the cooker. This could be somewhat fraught, so I'll show you when it's done. Yes. The workings out have taken some brain boggling situations, so yeah. Decided. We know what we're doing and we're going for it. That's right. So the reason why it's been a problem is because we wanted to make sure that the tiles finish behind the cooker so it's a perfect line all the way on the wall. Yeah. So that's the reason why. While Lillian's doing that, I'm going to remove that horrible light up there. Well, I took the uh, LED bulb out and see what we've got left. <sighs> right, that's the light down. 
maybe two ways. They've discoloured quite badly because they've been wet through all that leaking ceiling. So there isn't a, an earth wire up there. I'm going to double check the light fitting that we've got because I believe it needs one. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to run an earth. Uh, I'll have a look. Well, that's incredibly fortuitous. No, it doesn't. Live, neutral. It's double insulated, so it doesn't need one. Whew. Well, you know you've got somebody incredibly clumsy in the house. When that happens, what did you do? I just happened to bang it a bit. <laughs> Accidentally. It's a brand new tap. But it's plastic. It's plastic inside. With a metal handle. And we thought, oh, maybe it's just the handle that's broken off. No, it wasn't. Oh dear. Getting on with some finer points whilst uh, waiting for me to be able to go to the builder's motion because it's not open yet. Yes. Replace the light switch. Yes. That's all nice and neat and new. Yes. Um, I've got to do that one there in that corner. Um, and the socket that was there, I'm watching in case the little dog decides to bite something. And um, the socket that was there was a really bad quality one. And when I took it apart, I knew where it had been bought from. <laughs> and no, I wouldn't trust it. Uh, and the tips of the wires have all discoloured, but they're quite short ish. So I'm going to cut them off and then hope that they're long enough. I've given them a pull and there's no slack. Yeah. So I don't know. Anyway, it'll work. It's going to be work. tight, but it'll work. Yes. So I'll just show you what Chris took out. Look at the state of that. Going ferrous and just awful, awful. That's why he's replacing everything. Okay, so the light switch behind is all done completed. That one's completed. The one for the over there is also completed. I was just about to wire these up, obviously not with the rest of it connected up yet. I noticed these wires are exactly the same. They're all black. You can see it even better against. Yeah, okay, the arch sheathing's black but also the copper as well as black and I've just managed to cut them back just enough just enough space to cut back so I'm free and these are the same the other end so I'm just going to pull them out and put these brand new ones in after multiple <sighs> yeah. attempt and lots and lots and lots and lots of swearing words we've done it we used solid flex before the uh, cable and it got stuck here, something in there. We knew we had to flex the fibre, the stranded one, and went straight through. Okay, so all this is done. We're leaving that, not monocapped, and it's going to be fine because it's all going to be hidden from behind, you know, behind the cabinets. I'm just marking up now, ready for the waste pipe. While I'm doing that, I'm replacing the water tap that I broke. Lillian's going to make a start on painting this ceiling. It's going to give it a quick wipe down to make sure there's no grease up there. And then that'll be done before we put the cabinets in. Now this is here because we originally had intentions of having the fridge there. It can't be there, it's got to be here. So I'm doing like an extension, but it's a kind of a permanent extension. And it's not going to be like a flying lead. We couldn't move the electricity um, socket from there to there because there's water pipes and drainage. So this is our solution. Thanks for watching Tales from the Caveside. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Drop us a like and leave us a comment. See you on the next one.